All right, welcome Jim and I. It's our morning quickies for the weekend. Hola, uh, bienvenidos amigos. Vamos a hacerlo eh, rapidín de la mañana para los signos de Aries, que son Géminis, Libra y Acuario. We already shuffled pretty good. Give ya barejamos more. varias veces. Vamos a barejar un poquito más. To get your energy on them, Jim and I. It's a three-card love reading. Let me get something helpful. Para oh. tener la energía de Géminis si podamos recibir la ayuda. Yeah. Ok. Este es la carta del pasado para, para Géminis, el presente y el futuro. Y vamos a ver nice. lo que es... Very nice. Esta es la energía de la tirada, ok? Es el ledio. Ok. I'm going to do this real quick. <laughs> this is just, muy the, the hair of that has the uh, overall energy. Um, it could be marriage. Este it, puede ser significar matrimonio. In a love reading. En una lectura it del can amor. represent the church, represent puede representar la iglesia, the, the hierarchy in general, the government. El gobe, um, el gobierno. A place where we're very solid in our beliefs. But I es think here what I'm seeing, donde es muy I, I think I'm seeing marriage. Pero creo que estamos viendo so, matrimonio. You come from a position in the past. Vienes de una posición del pasado. Do you see this man? He's holding his coins. He's pinnacles. Ves este hombre que está abrazando sus monedas. And many decks are called coins. And so when you're doing this, look, he can't hold anyone. He can't create anything. He Cuando can't. tú haces eso es que no puedes crear nada porque estás... Este, so, conteniendo las monedas. This is in the past. You're coming when we're in this energy. It's something probably bad has happened. It can be where we've uh, been impoverished in some way. It can Cuando be about money. Cuando estás en esta posición, eh, puede decir que en el pasado tuviste dificultades económicas y um, ahora que tienes mayores posibilidades económicas estás deteniendo todo, pero and, no te deja fluir. And that can translate into being. Uh, in our emotional cells, also sí. like this, the energy sí, being uh, holding on to ourselves, not being open, you're a little bit of fear. Um, ser como emocionalmente ser como once burned, twice shy. Mismo, no, no tus no and then, with the Seven of Cups in this present position, um, it, I think this is also hopes and dreams as wishes and a lot of emotion here. Y el siete de copas en la posición de presente, este puede significar que son muchas emociones, deseos yeah. o often oportunidades. Opportunities. It's often seen as opportunities. Could be like maybe you really looked and you went through some different people and dated. Uh -huh. And pues but I think now. Has conocido a varias personas. And now I think uh, you're settling on something. Now the Leo card, it could could be a Leo, fire sign, uh, which would be a nice match for Gemini in general. Um, and then it's strength. So it's showing here, if you look at strength, it's showing here, this is very different from this. This energy here completely goes away when strength shows up. Okay, because you can't be in this energy if you're strong like this, huh? Ah, dice que para el futuro es una carta muy bonita, la carta de la fuerza, porque tú no puedes seguir. Ya, en el futuro tú ya vas a tener la fortaleza para poder abrir tus brazos y soltar y que llegue. And I think like then looking at the hair thought, um, it could be a marriage is coming, but I think what it's showing is that you're starting, Leo, uh, Gemini, to uh, become strong in yourself. And estás empezando a, a estar más fuerte. This is a very attractive energy. Es una energía muy attractiva. The, this energy is very sexy, very attractive. Esta es muy sexy, uh, muy attractive. It's people, you light up the room when you walk es, in. Es una uh, persona, es una energía so, que cuando llega una persona a un cuarto o a un restaurante, La gente lo voltea a ver, esa cantidad de energía yeah. so bonita I, tiene, ¿no? I think it's like you're moving into this energy where you're going to manifest a marriage. a este tipo de energía y uh -huh. lo estás manifestando. 
because just real quick it will be done. When you're in this energy, you're going to manifest energía, nothing. No Again, you can't nada. do anything. You can't throw a ball. You can't hug anyone. No But when you're in this energy, you can manifest whatever you want. And if you're watching a love reading, maybe you want a marriage, and you're going to get it because mm. you're going to get it. Mm -hmm. You're going to bring it in. Si tú estás mirando este video, este quiere decir que ya vas a tener la fuerza suficiente y para poder llegar al, ah, al matrimonio. Bueno, quiero decir que si este video es para ti, tú ya estás generando la fuerza suficiente. Okay. Gemini. Gemini. Next up is our Libra friends, the sí. diplomats. All right, I'm doing this by element today, so we'll break it up into three. All right, all right, Libras, Libras, let's get some energy for Libras, something helpful in love for the weekend here, 5th and 6th of December, Libra friends. Only enlightened love so it serves our highest good. Vamos a eh, continuar con el signo de Libra. Estamos barajeando. Okay. Three of cups on the bottom. Okay. Three of cups and relationships. The classic interpretation is a, a third party relationship. You know, el tres de copas es la energía de la tirada. El tres de copias, pues, copas puede significar que hay otra persona. Third party relationships. Uh -huh. En la relación. They don't always have to be another person uh, make, uh, making love to your lover. No siempre tiene que ser una persona que esté haciendo el amor a tu pareja. This could be where your partner is in some way involved with something outside of you. Now, this could be they ah, work too much. Puede ser que tu um, puede estar this, o con how otra does it más. manifest in, in reality? They spend too much time on the internet. They so go they, out and party with their friends and they don't spend time with you. Um, um, they have a hobby. Puede ir, de, a, puede, uh, eh, they have an addiction. Usar and demasiado the, tiempo en el internet o en la yeah. computadora puede ir de fiesta sin ti. If you have an addiction, you're in a o relationship si with adicción, that, what you're addicted to, and that a, a, becomes a third party in your relationship because it, it comes between you and the other. Just to say. And the world. That's a nice mundo. start. And a king of cups. A really nice start. Okay. And then the two of pentacles. Tenemos el mundo en el pasado, el rey de copas en el presente y el dos de, de oros en el futuro. Okay. So coming in as the world here with this three of cups, um, I think there was in the past there's some energy around you of this third party energy, um, but you have moved past it. And I got a feeling this is someone, you know, this is the final major arcana. You know, when you start a new cycle, um, this is someone who has accomplished something. You have uh, uh, persevered, and you have overcome, and you have gained um, the world in some way, and you're ready to start a new cycle. And in this relationship, I'm going to go with you're ready to start a relationship now. Muy bien. Con esta carta del mundo y la energía del tres de copas, quiere decir que... Este, tu pareja podía, estar, podía haber estado haciendo todas estas situaciones de salir demasiado de fiesta con sus amigos, involucrarse más en otras cosas, pero ahora eh, tú tomaste las riendas y la carta del mundo es la número 21 de los arcanos mayores, y quiere decir un nuevo inicio. Sí, y creo que cuando coming from that third uh, party energy, it maybe took you a while to get here. Uh, wasn't Dice easy. que viniendo de la energía de las de tres de copas pudo llevarte un buen tiempo llegar aquí. And congratulations. So you, if you're watching tarot, si you're probably viendo, someone who's done the work, the emotional work, the spiritual work to get yourself. Si esta lectura es para ti, felicitaciones porque estás en una muy buena posición. And then you showing up now is the king of cups. So y 
como estás ahora, eres el rey de copas. This is someone reina. who is emotionally available, emotionally intelligent. You know Esta es una means? persona que es emocionalmente um, so disponible. This is the three of cups too can be, you know, an energy that's not uh, threes or uh, busy in like third house Gemini. And so here, this is you becoming because you've gained the world, becoming emotionally stable and in control of your emotions, huh? They don't control you. You have control of them. Okay, vienes del tres de copas donde estaba esta relación que la otra persona se enfocaba más en otras cosas. Después Tú sales adelante de esto y cuando decides salir adelante de esto te vuelves dueño del mundo y tienes las habilidades o la fuerza para ser dueño de tus emociones. I want to clarify the two of pinnacles. Queremos cl eh, clarificar el uh, dos de oros. I think in this case, in this position, is going to be a decision. And with the, with the pinnacles, when you have a decision, it's not something you just make in your mind. Pinnacles are something solid. So this means that you have to do something. You have mm -hmm. to change a job, change a home. You're making a decision that has real impact on your life. You know, it's not a decision like just, uh, what am I going to watch on Netflix tonight? This is, this is huge. De, vamos a clarificar el dos de pentáculos, porque, lo, bueno, de monedas. Las monedas significan que son algo sólido. No solo eh, eh, son acciones que tienes que hacer, decisiones difíciles de tomar. What do you think? I think I want to clarify okay. this. Um, Con el, clarify el ocho out. de espadas. Okay. Y el, <laughs> I was prepared to clarify that out for a while, but your two of pentacles is um, you're you're wanting. I think if this is your reading, you are wanting to make a decision. That si esta es tu, re, tu lectura, tú quieres hacer una decisión. That is a big decision. Es una decisión and muy importante it, it may, y grande. Yeah, I'm getting the feeling this may be, do I, does someone move in with me or do I move in with someone? Se puede, this kind me of puedo stuff. mover con alguien o alguien se puede mover conmigo. And you're really in your head about y it. Y tú so, estás pensando muchísimo you know, acerca de eso. She can, she can really just crawl out of here and take Ella the blindfold off. simplemente podría so, escaparse. Puedes ver que las cadenas no tienen ningún candado. Se podría zafar fácilmente. Pero las espadas significan pensamientos. So I think what this is, is you're now, you, do, you did really good. You got stable. Now there's a relationship. It's getting serious. No and you're back to bien. thinking about what happened to you before. Pero, you were cheated on, you were betrayed. And this is making you think, triggering you in this new relationship. Estás tomando esta decisión de si se mueve contigo o no, de seguir adelante, pero tienes el recuerdo del tres de copas. Y ese recuerdo de tres de copas te hace llegar a esta sensación, a esta emoción de estar pensando. Sí, basado en esta en el tres de copas, entonces eso no te deja tranquilo, pero va a llegar el momento que tienes que tomar la decisión tajante. Now the advice is very important here, is the queen of swords is the la queen, so she's espadas. strong, you're es strong, fuerte, you're coming in as the world, you're emotionally balanced, the king of cups. Tienes la emo las emociones dominadas. I, I, how can I put this? Don't take any shit. <laughs> Number one. No tomes nada okay. que no sea para ti. This, no tomes menos de lo que te mereces. This woman does not Esta put up with any nonsense. She calls mujer, people out. She speaks her mind. No She's se habla strong. Con juego. Se es fuerte, direct, directe, speaks the truth. De hablar con la verdad. Um, and I think this saying that in this relationship you need to do this. So you probably need to have a talk with this person. En esta relación es posible que tú necesites hacer esto. This. Hablar con la persona para solucionar My. esta situación del ocho de espadas. A, como aclarar y llegar a acuerdos. My sense is they're probably triggering you in some way, but I don't... My sense is they're probably... You, you need to know if this is for you. I don't think they're doing anything wrong. It's just they're triggering that three of cups wound from the past. And you need to speak about this and deal with it. And 
this will put you in an even greater position of power in this relationship. I think it will end very well if you do this. It might be hard to have this conversation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Este, yeah. como eh, la reina de espadas, necesitas hablar con la persona porque a ti te está generando un tipo de, de intriga o de inseguridad y no te permite tomar decisiones. Platica sí. con ella, este, aclarar las, las preguntas que tengas, no, 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 interpre no interpretes o... Eh, pregúntale qué es lo que necesita saber, platíquenlo y lleguen a un acuerdo para que puedan salir adelante de esto. I think that does it. Um, for Libra, let us know. Let us know. Muchas It's kind of empowering reading. I think. Sí. It's saying be empowered, be, be bold. Sí, es right. como una lectura de que te empodera a ti mismo. No aceptes menos de lo que tú quieres o de lo que te mereces. Ok. Bueno, amigos de Libra. Eh, síganos en nuestro canal de Tarot, mi amor, espero que les guste. Ahora vamos a continuar con el signo de Acuario. Acuario. All right, Aquarius. Let's get some energy of Aquarius on the cards. Only enlightened love, so it serves our highest good. What can we say that will help our Aquarius friends? And this love quickie for the weekend of the 5th and 6th. Us out here, spirit. Help our Aquarium friends. Sixth house for me. You guys are kryptonite. That's my problem. I can't, can't, can't forget I'm very needy. Aquarius doesn't do needy, babe. No? <clears throat> I am Aquarius rising. Rising in uh, the uh, big conjunction on the 21st. It's changing everything. The beginning of the Aquarius age happening on Yazda's ascendant exactly within minutes blows me away so she's uh, going to transform into something uh, much greater she's already pretty damn great <laughs> but uh, yeah so if you're Aquarius look for that my god if it's within a two or three degree orb of any your sun or something wow I mean if this is on it's on my it's on my sun uh Too, it's not far. Make a nice aspect. This is born on the 17th. So. Bueno, vamos a empezar con el rapidín de la mañana para Acuario. Nice. Nice. Ah, muy bonitas cartas. Wow. Okay, wow, the bottom of the deck here, the two of pentacles. Tenemos en el, eh, la energía de la tirada es el 2 de oros, en el pasado tenemos el 10 de copas, en el presente el as de oros y en el futuro el rey de pentáculos. So the ten of cups. El 10 de copas. In the past. So I think because you have these other cards, the ace of pentacles and then the king of pentacles following up and the two of pentacles, Uh, you are in a position, you have been in a position of having or wanting or being in this Ten of Cups energy. This could be someone that's even in a relationship or just starting. And then this is you, if you're watching this reading, I think it started. El diez, el diez de copas. Yeah, I probably can see it there. Okay. So this is a, a strong start, a este solid un, start, a sincere un start. Inicio muy sólido, um, un inicio muy sincero. And with the King of Pentacles coming up, what I could tell y you is whatever you're involved in, cualquier cosa en lo que estés envuelto, it's going to go the long distance. This is serious. This is a... Not messing serio. around. If they're saying to you, uh, I really want a life with you, you can believe it. Una vida contigo, mm -hmm. And you may be dealing with an earth sign. But a lo mejor estás, este, the king of pentacles. Con, con el earth sign. Con los earth sign. Okay. And so if you're, whoever you're dealing with, 
Um, they could be someone who's uh, strong and has a good job. How this would translate is. Con la que estás en la relación puede ser que sea una persona muy fuerte. Could be a Capricorn or Virgo. Puede ser Capricorn o Virgo. But someone you, when they tell you something, they're going to do something. They do it. Someone that. Cuando alguien te dice voy a hacer algo y lo hacen. Takes care of their business. To, this king takes care of the kingdom. It's not este a, rey toma cuidado del reino. He doesn't have a poor kingdom. He has a no tiene un rey, nice, un strong pobre. kingdom. Tiene un so, fuerte. I think this is, I, I don't even think we need to clarify this. I think no this is, uh, que uh, creo que este. I think basically what this is saying for the Aquarius listener is you can trust in what you're feeling. You're feeling this. You're like, but Tú you're kind of like me. It's too good to be true, but it is true. Es demasiado bueno para ser cierto, pero lo es. Absolutely true. Completamente yeah. verdad. Uh, and if you're in a position, Aquarius, of making some kind of major decision, like I want to move in, they want to move in, I'd si say from this reading, en hacer una absolutely decisión, yes. Yeah. Si quiero moverse a mi a su casa, si quiero moverme a su casa o si quiere moverse a mi casa, la respuesta es Absolutamente sí. All right. Muy bien. Let us know, Aquarius, if that's you, because I hope De, so. Déjanos saber si esta lectura fue para ti, Aquarius. Y síguenos en nuestro canal de, de YouTube, Taro Mi Amor. Yeah. Gracias, buen día.